What's going on, everybody? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I was like two when that came out. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Well, that kind of got out of hand there. I am Ian with Miller Garage, and today we're gonna be checking out and reviewing a brand new tool, the Nibbler, which is not a, a Batman villain. <laughs> but it is one of our most used tools in the shop. This particular one is the Makita Corded Nibbler, and you've probably already seen us talk about this, so this is actually not the one we're gonna talk about. Today we're gonna talk about this one. This is Makita's LXT lithium battery powered nibbler. When I saw that they came out with this, I immediately ordered one because we love the corded one, but a lot of times if we're working on a trailer somewhere else or, you know, whatever, it's just nice to have something that is cordless. You don't have to be running cords all over the place. When this got in, we immediately started using it and it is pretty much identical in operation to the corded nibbler. In fact, everything, uh, the, the jaw and the pin inside, all of that is the same and interchangeable because uh, you can't actually replace these pins. They do eventually over time get dull and so that is a great feature of these is the fact that it has a replaceable pin and uh, this front tooth or whatever you want to call it there, the front part of the jaw, uh, that as well is replaceable because that's where all the cutting action happens is on that front end so you can keep those nice and sharp. If you look at the two of them, they are you know, physically almost the same as far as the the head, the dimensions there are about the same. Obviously the difference is the battery on the bottom of this one. This one is definitely heavier with that battery being on there. I'd say there's probably at least a pound and a half difference. That might make, it, make a difference for you. It's not really a big deal for me, but that could, you know, if you want something a little bit lighter, that one is just slightly lighter. So for those of you that don't know, the purpose of a nibbler is for sheet metal work. And these are phenomenal for cutting out any sort of, you know, circular or odd shaped. Uh, you can use it on straight cuts as well. You just have to be, you know, really, really steady hand while you're using it. But it works really well to cut aluminum. As you can see. And this is something that we use all the time whenever we're doing body repairs, whenever we're doing interior skins, all of that stuff. And actually speaking of interior skins, we just launched our interior skin fabrication and installation course on Airstream U, which is our exclusive and incredible online course for Airstream renovations. Quite a bit of people that have already signed up and we're getting good feedback on it. So check that out, the link is below. We do have a promo discount going on right now, and that is gonna be going through May 3rd, and we are limiting enrollment to 300 people, so be sure to get over there as quickly as possible so you don't miss out. So now let's talk about the differences between these two. Uh, the first one that we're gonna talk about is probably one of the more important ones for people, and that is the price difference. Cordless one is $240 more than the corded one. Uh, the corded one comes in at 329 and this one is 569 I do understand that is a lot of money, but it does come with two of the five amp hour batteries and a charger. You can get the tool by itself if you already have Makita lithium batteries and kit, that will be 369 So it's about $200 for the batteries and chargers, which is pretty standard for batteries, especially of this size. So then the differences in performance, uh, we're gonna start with the sound actually, which seems kind of silly, but uh, one of the things about this is it's actually, it's very loud. The corded one, that was one of the things that was kind of annoying. We had to, you know, a lot of times you have to wear ear protection even when you're using it. And one of the first things that struck us about the cord cordless one is that it's not quite so loud. Bye -bye. 
So that is a pretty sign significant difference that may not be in any way important to you, but we just want to point it out. So then we're going to talk about the most important factor, at least in my opinion, and that is the performance of them. That's the biggest differentiator. Basically the same design. This one is slightly different, obviously, in that it's battery powered, but how does that affect the performance of it? So we did notice that the cordless one is, it does tend to slow down, especially whenever you're dealing with thicker metal or multiple sheets of metal. Sometimes you have two pieces of aluminum that are overlapping on a trailer, and uh, this one does cut through quite a bit easier in, in general. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to say quite a bit easier. It, it, it is faster. Overall, they are very good, both of them, the, the cordless one does a great job. I'm not gonna in any way say that it's not as good. It's just, it starts to slow down whenever you're dealing with thicker metals. The other thing that happens obviously is with the battery powered tool, once the battery starts to get low, you do see a drop off in performance and overall like, I guess you could say, torque and power of the unit. So we're gonna basically cut through a piece of this and compare them and just kind of see, uh, you know, how much of a difference there is in you guys decide. <laughs> So this one is a little bit slower. I do believe the pin moves slightly slower than the corded one but again the benefits that you gain with a cordless tool i feel like outweigh that i mean we still use this one a ton especially whenever we're inside because a lot of times if we're doing skins we'll have this one in here somebody cutting the big sheets that we're prepping and then we'll have this one out in the trailer and we're doing all the refining and detail work and stuff like that for our purposes you know having both is good and you know, if I were to pick one over the other, I probably would go with the cordless just because, you know, you have the versatility and the ability to, you know, just go into a trailer real quick if you need to do something, you don't have to drag cords around and all that. From that standpoint, I definitely think that the cordless is the way to go. I can't speak to this particular tool as far as durability and longevity because we haven't had it that long. Our corded one, I have been using for uh, coming up on three years now, and it has taken heavy use, heavy abuse, and I haven't even had to replace the pin yet. We do occasionally use like an air tool or a cutting oil and just put a drop or two right there. That helps prevent the aluminum especially from like getting in any way gummed up in there. Cause sometimes the aluminum can get hot and it'll start to like mar up in there. So a little bit of oil can help and it keeps it nice and lubricated and sharp. So be sure you're taking care of your tools and they will last a long time. So these nibblers can be used for, you know, things outside of airstreams, any sheet metal work. I know a lot of times people that do like gutters and metal buildings use these extensively. Again, like the portability of the cordless drill, you can carry it up onto a roof, you can do all that kind of stuff. And that really is a big benefit, I think, to a lot of people. And again, if you already have the Makita system, you can save some money and, you know, just buy the tool by itself and then just use the batteries you already have. So as always, links for these products are in the description down below. We really appreciate you guys using those. That helps support the channel and continue to bring this content to you. Also, don't forget to check out Airstream U. We are really excited about this and think it's gonna be a huge benefit to those doing Airstream renovations. Let us know what you think of these tools. If you already have one, give us your opinion. And if you are looking at getting one, let us know which one you would go with, but be sure to comment below, as well as subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also be be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and then we will see you next time.